picture shows a circuit diagram. We can find the currents through and the potential differences across different resistors using Kirchhoff rules. Answer the following questions based on the above. Part A, which points are at the same potential in the circuit? Part B, what is the current through arm BG? Current through arm BG. Find the potential difference across resistance R3. You have to find out the potential difference across R3. Or part D, what is the power dissipated in the resistance R2? You have to find out the power dissipated across R2. So the problem is based on the topic electric circuits and the use of Kirchhoff's voltage and current law. So first of all, we have to find out the same potential points. That is the points having the same potential. Now we know that uh, the wire, the wire is having the zero resistance. The wire is having the zero resistance. So we can say that between point A and B and B and C, there is wire only. So we can say that these points are at the same potential. Similarly, between D and E, there is a wire only. Wire is having the zero resistance. So D and E are at the same potential. Similarly, H, G and F, these are at the same potential. So in this way, we can say that these are the possible combinations of the points having the same potential. So the answer of the first part of this problem, answer of the first part of this problem, the points having the same potential are A, B, C. This is the first group of points because there is no resistance in between. Similarly, D and E, this is the combination. D and E is the combination because there is no resistance. Similarly, H, G and F. Similarly, H, G and F, these are at the same potential. So, this is the answer of the first part of the problem. To solve the second part, we have to find out the current in this branch. B, G branch, we have to find out the current. So, let us assume that uh, the current in branch current in this particular branch that is from G, H and A and B, this current is I1 and the current flowing in the branch BG is I2. Then from the KCLE that is Kirchhoff's current law, we can say that the current in this particular branch B, C, D, E, F, G, it is I1 minus I2 by applying the KCL at node B. So this is the current in this branch particular. Now we can apply the KVL, we can apply the KVL, Kirchhoff's voltage law. We can see easily that we can choose any two loops. For example, this loop and this loop or this loop and this whole loop or this loop or this whole loop. For example, we take this particular loop and the whole loop. So for the KVL, applying the KVL, applying the KVL in loop A, B, A, B, I, J. A, B, I, J, G, H, A. Now applying this particular loop KVL. So the current, this current I1 enters the negative terminal of the battery. So a negative 6 volts. Then current goes, this current I2 goes through this resistance R1. And the value of R1 is 10. So the term is I2 into 10, I2 into 10. Then the current, this current I1 goes through 1 ohm resistor. So we get the value as I1 into 1 and this is equal to 0. So the equation becomes I1 plus 10 times I2 is equal to 6. This is equation number 1. Similarly, we can take this outer loop. So this outer loop, we can apply the KVL here. So KVL is A, B, C, F, A, B, C, D, E, F, D, E, F, G, H and A, the whole loop. So for this particular whole loop, the current flowing through R2 and R3 is I1 minus I2 and these are in series. R2 and R3 are in series. So their addition is 10 ohm. So we can say that in compact form we can say that I1 minus I2 times 10 is the potential drop across this whole branch. That is the series branch. Then the current I1 flowing through this 1 ohm resistor. So we get I1 then minus 6 volt which is entering in this particular battery then the whole loop completes and this is equal to 0. So in this way we can say that this becomes 11 I1 
minus n i 2 equals to 6. This is equation number 2. Now, we can add these two equations and by adding these two equations plus 10 i 2 and minus 10 i 2, these cancel each other. So, in this way, i 1 plus 11 i 1, this becomes 12 i 1 and this is equal to 6 plus 6 which is 12. In another word, we can say that i 1 equals to 1 amperes. So, the value of i 1 is 1 ampere. We can put this value of 1 ampere in equation number 1. So, 1 plus 10 i 2 equals to 6 or we can say that i 2 equals to 5 upon 10 which is equal to 0 0.5 ampere. So, in this way, we have find out the currents. So, i 1 is equal to 1 ampere and i 2 is equal to 0 0.5 amperes. So, the remaining current is 0 0.5 ampere going through this particular branch C, D, E, F, this particular branch. So, first of all, we have to find out in the second part the current in branch B, G. So, current in branch B, G is I2 and I2 is 0 0.5 ampere. So, this is the answer of the second part of the problem that is current in B, G branch. Now, we have to find out the voltage drop across this R3 resistance. To find out the voltage drop across the R3 resistance that is in part 3, we already calculated the current flowing through it. The current is 0.5 ampere. So, the voltage across R3 is current multiplied by the resistance. Current is 0.5 ampere and the resistance is 5. So, this value is, this current is 0.5 and this value is 5. So, this comes out to be 2.5 volts. So, the voltage across R3 resistance is 2.5 volts. Similarly, for the fourth part, we have to find out the power. The power that is dissipated across the R2 resistance. So, the power is given by, power across R2 is given by I square R, I square R. Now, I square means the current through this particular resistance R. So, R2. So, the current is 0 0.5. So, 0 0.5 whole square, 0 0.5 whole square multiplied by the value of this resistance which is 5. So, this comes out to be 0 0.25 multiplied by 5 which is, uh, which is, this comes out to be 1.25. So, 1.25 watt is the power dissipated across the R2 resistor. So, in this way, we have calculated all the parts. So, this problem we have asked that in a particular circuit, in the circuit, we have to find the first point in the same potential. So, the same potential points are the points in which there is points in which there is no resistance. And the point combination we have seen is A, B, C. This is the first group, which is the same potential. Similarly, HGF, HGF, ये दूसरा ग्रुप है जो कि सेम पोटेंशियल पे है. Similarly, D और E, ये दोनों पॉइंट्स जो हैं के बीच में कोई रेस्टेंस नहीं है, केवल एक वायर है, वायर की जीरो रेस्टेंस मानी जाती है, उस हिसाब से ये भी सेम पोटेंशियल पे हैं. Second part में हमसे करंट पूछी गई है BG ब्रांच में, उसके लिए हमें KVL अप्लाई करना पड़ेगा उसमें सेक्शन में हमने I1 माना है उसको करंट को I1 माना है और BG सेक्शन में हमने करंट को I2 माना है तो KCL अप्लाई करके पॉइंट B पे हम कह सकते हैं दैट B से C की तरफ जो करंट जा रही है वो होगी I1 minus I2 व्हिच इज 0.5 एम्पियर अब हम KVL अप्लाई करेंगे सबसे पहले हम लूप आइडेंटिफाई कर लेते हैं लूप सबसे पहले हम ये पर्टिकुलर लूप ले लेते हैं A B A B G H A ये पर्टिकुलर लूप में हमने KVL अप्लाई किया पहला टर्म आया minus 6 because the current is entering at the negative terminal of the battery minus 6, फिर उसके बाद दूसरा टर्म हमने लिखा था potential drop across this R1 resistance, तो हम कहेंगे I2 into R1, यहाँ पे हमारा हो जाएगा I2 into R1, R1 की value 10 put कर दी, फिर ये particular current I1, I1 current 1 ohm के resistor में जा रही है, तो हमने I1 into 1 लिखा और equal to 0, क्योंकि loop complete हो गया, यहाँ से हमने इस equation को simplified form में लिखा I1 plus 10 I2 equals to 6, this is our equation number 1. सिमिलरली हम आउटर लूप में केवल अप्लाई करेंगे और उसमें हम टर्म्स लिखेंगे सबसे पहले हम I1 वन माइनस आई और इन दोनों के सीरीज कम्बिनेशन को लेके एक साथ भी लिख सकते हैं हम 5 प्लस फाइव इज टेन और 10 को हमने मल्टीप्लाई कर देना है I1 वन माइनस आई से तो ये पहला टर्म आ जाएगा फिर हमने लिखा दूसरा टर्म I1 वन करंट एंटर कर रही है स्मॉल आर रेस्टेंस में जिसकी वैल्यू वन ओम है तो हम लिखेंगे आई वन इंटू उसको हम आई लिख सकते हैं केवल फिर उसके बाद करंट एंटर कर रही है नेगेटिव टर्म ऑफ द बैटरी में उसको हमने माइनस लिखा सिंपलीफाई किया इक्वेशन बनी हमारी 11i1 minus 10i2 equals to 6 इन नॉन इक्वेशंस को सॉल्व किया i1 i2 के रिस्पेक्ट के वैल्यूज हमारी आती हैं i1 is 10 एम्पीयर एंड i2 is 0.5 एम्पीयर हमें सेकंड पार्ट में i2 पूछा गया था दैट इज bg 
सेक्शन में करंट पूछी गई थी जो कि हमारी निकल के आ रही है जीरो पॉइंट फाइव एम्पियर्स उसके बाद थर्ड पार्ट में हमसे पूछा गया था वोल्टेज ड्रॉप अक्रॉस द आर थ्री रेजिस्टेंस तो वोल्टेज ड्रॉप के लिए हम ओम्स को अप्लाई करेंगे करंट हम इस सेक्शन में निकाल ही चुके हैं जीरो पॉइंट फाइव उसे हमें मल्टीप्लाई कर देना है फाइव से तो वैल्यू निकल के आती है टू पॉइंट फाइव वोल्ट सो टू पॉइंट फाइव वोल्ट इज द वोल्टेज ड्रॉप अक्रॉस द आर थ्री रेजिस्टेंस सिमिलरली लास्ट में हमें बताना है द पावर डिसिपेटेड अक्रॉस द आर टू रेजिस्टेंस तो पावर के लिए हमारे पास थ्री फॉर्मुलेज होते हैं एक होता है पी इक्व टू वी आई एक होता है आई स्क्वायर आर और एक होता है वी स्क्वायर अपन आर यहाँ पे हम आई स्क्वायर आर फॉर्मूला यूज कर सकते हैं यहाँ पे हमें करंट भी पता है हमने कैलकुलेट कर ही ली है आई वन माइनस आई टू की वैल्यू जीरो पॉइंट फाइव है जो इसमें जा रही है और इस रेजिस्टेंस की वैल्यू भी हम जानते ही तो जीरो पॉइंट फाइव स्क्वायर इंटू फाइव तो यह जाएगा जीरो पॉइंट टू फाइव इंटू फाइव विच इज इक्वल टू वन पॉइंट टू फाइव वाट्स सो दिस इज द पावर डिसिपेटेड इन आर टू रेजिस्टेंस सो दिस इज द कम्प्लीट सोल्यूशन ऑफ दिस पर्टिकुलर प्रॉब्लम होप यू अंडरस्टैंड द सोल्यूशन as well as the explanation thank you